Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Rebecca and if you're interested in health related videos or want more recipe videos, subscribe to me and also give this video a thumbs up. So in this video I'm going to show you a really delicious and healthy banana bread that I recently have started to make. So I'm not gonna intro this video too much, so let's just get started. So here is what you will need, but I will put the recipe down below. And also throughout this video you will see how much you will need of everything. So I'm starting off with preheating the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. So you wanna start off with preheating the oven. And when you have done that, we are going to use three bananas. The riper the better. This is pretty dark. I don't know how it's going to look inside, but I think it's pretty good. These are not as ripe, but they work as well. So yeah, let's start mashing them up. The next thing you want to do is put in three eggs into the mix. Then three tablespoons of coconut oil and I melted it in the microwave. So now when we got all our wet ingredients in the bowl, we are going to start putting the dry ingredients. So we're starting off with flour. I'm using coconut flour, but it works with almond flour or normal flour. So you can use whatever you want and prefer. It's actually the first time I'm using coconut flour, so I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. But yeah, I think it's still be as good. But I have tried with almond flour and regular flour and good with any kind of flour, I think. And I'm also using just oat flour. You can choose whatever oat flour you prefer. But I use this one and I mix it to flour. Here I'm measuring up 2 deciliters of oats that I then mix to flour. You can put in all the dry ingredients before you mix if you want to. Now I'm adding 1 deciliter of coconut flour. And I noticed that it got a little bit too dry, so I put a little bit more banana in. Then you add a half deciliter of coconut sugar, it's optional. One teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of baking powder and then a half teaspoon of salt. Then I'm adding some coconut oil to the pan so the banana bread won't get stuck. Here I'm adding the mix to the pan and I'm spreading it evenly. Then you want to put it in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes depending on what pan you use. After 40 minutes you can check on it and if it's golden brown you can try with a fork if it's doughy or not. And if it's not doughy, you can take it out.
Okay, so here we have our banana bread and as you saw it broke. It hasn't done that before for me so I don't really know what happened but it's totally fine if it breaks. It's still really good inside. If it's done inside that's the most important part. So check with like a fork or whatever to see if it's doughy or if it's done like this. So I like to top it off with either butter or peanut butter. Today I feel like butter, so we are going to try it together. Okay, I put quite a lot of butter. So mine was a little bit doughy inside. Some people might like that. I like it when it's more done. So I could put it in the oven for a little bit longer, but I think it's fine. It was still really good. But if you like it more like breadish, you can have it for longer in the oven. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I really hope you try this recipe because it's good and healthy and I didn't think banana bread would be good until I tried it so. But if you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up. And I also got another recipe video that I will link down below. That's a granola, healthy candy and a smoothie recipe. Comment down below if there is any specific recipe you want me to do. And yeah, subscribe to me because it's coming more of these recipes so you don't miss out. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!